Acoustics and Vibration Metallurgy NPL CSI India welcomes you all to the quick venture of exploring the very interesting and very factual topic noise pollution and their solution So before we start let us just know what is noise Noise is an unwanted unpleasant and annoying sound caused by vibration of the matter These vibrations impinge on the eardrum of a human or animal and set up a nervous disturbance. In general term, we can define noise as the unwanted sound which disrupts one's quality of life. So, when there is a lot of noise that pertains in the environment, it leads to a serious issue which is known as noise pollution. Now, we would be thinking that Why is there a need to focus on noise pollution since we can't see smell or taste noise pollution which had always been an underrated environmental problem at certain times sound becomes noise to some people whereas for some it remains to be a normal comfortable range of hearing as been illustrated but loud annoying sound like as from horns loud speakers etc will always be a noise for everyone irrespective of whosoever it is so let's just have a look to major sources of noise pollution first are the industries second the heavy traffic third are the loud music fourth the animals which could vocalize loudly sometimes creating a huge noise fifth could be the loud conversations or the use of electronic gadgets producing a lot of noise now Let's just have a look on to the different sources of sound on sound intensity meter scale. It is well understood that human ear is the most affected part of the body that can get hampered due to loud noise. Loud noise can damage the cells and membranes in the cochlea. It can cause the hair cells present in the ear to die which may lead to hair ache and ultimately hearing loss. Let's just have a look to the several side effects of noise. The side effects could be acute that is short term or it could be chronic or it could be for the long term the acute effects include decreased sleep quality and quantity increased annoyance stress distraction temporary change in hearing the chronic effects are hypertension reduced learning and productivity endocrine disruption and the last one are the long term risk which includes heart diseases or else permanent hearing loss and tinnitus there are certain ways to control noise as illustrated in the pyramid the most effective way to control the noise is to eliminate it if it can't be an option then people can buy noise free equipment or else can stay isolated from noisy area people can also minimize the working time limit near the noise generating equipments or can wear a personal protective equipments which is ppe while working under these areas prevention is better than cure therefore we should take necessary actions to prevent noise pollution it could be on personal level like avoiding unnecessary honking prohibiting the use of loud speakers etc secondly Use of personal protective equipments at industrial level could also be effective to curb the noise pollution. Besides all these, the setting up of permissible noise limit at various areas and various zones were the most effective method taken up by the government to reduce the noise pollution. CSI NPL had been an apex body around India which had contributed 
to our wide range of activities to curb the issue of noise pollution. Acoustics and Vibration Metrology NPL CSIR is equipped with measuring instruments like sound level analyzer, vibration analyzer, impedance tube for providing precise and calibrated measurements. Acoustics and Vibration Metrology Department also has specialized chambers like anechoic chambers, reverberation chamber for calibrated and precise testing and designing of materials as per the ISO standards. CSIR NPL also designed acoustic panels which acts as noise barrier and they have been used in metros, Indian railways and many other buildings all over the country.